We continue with the subject of the domestic life of the Messiah, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, which touches on the events described in the prophetic narratives in both the Bible and in the Holy Quran. These narratives provide us with different textures of the advent of the Messiah. As such, the narratives of Lot, Samson, David, Solomon, and Joseph provide us with the circumstances that the Messiah, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, have faced and endured and must face and endure in order to fulfill what is written of him. This is how and why he comes in the volume of the book, according to what is written in the Old Testament in the book of Psalms. The volume of the book are the scriptures from this current 25,000 year cycle of the original people's history or plan. We say history, but we mean plan. When we say history, we literally mean his story because we write it and then we live it out. So when we say the original people's 25,000 year history, it means plan. Well, let us revisit this reality from the supreme wisdom lessons given to us by Master Farad Muhammad to and through his servant, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, for we, the lost found nation of Islam in North America. These lessons inform us exactly why the Supreme Being, Almighty God, is the best knower and the possessor of power over all things. The notion of Almighty God's power is not relegated to our opinions, assumptions, or speculations. In other words, we can always say that God is in charge. Almighty God knows and controls all things because he constructs his plan for creation and then he implements the plan. And how that is done is given to us in the supreme wisdom, wisdom that we did not know. We only speculated, although it is correct speculation, we don't know the details of how this occurs. Why in how Almighty God, the Supreme Being, a human being, is in charge. So those who are blessed to understand this truth have an opportunity to strive in service of his plan. Now it states in the Supreme Wisdom regarding the purpose and nature of the 25,000 year cycle or cycles of God's plan. It states, question, which is what Master Far Muhammad asked the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This question is to him. Who made the Holy Quran or Bible? How long ago? Will you tell us why does Islam renew her history every 25,000 years? The Honorable Elijah Muhammad's answer. The Holy Quran or Bible is made by the original people who is Allah, the supreme being or black man of Asia. The Quran will expire in the year 25,000, 9,080 years from the date of this writing, which occurred in the 1930s. The nation of Islam is all wise and does everything right and exact. The planet Earth, which is the home of Islam, is approximately 25,000 miles in circumference. So the wise man of the East, black man, makes history or Quran to equal his home circumference, a year to every mile. And thus, every time his history lasts 25,000 years, he renews it for another 25,000 years. Now, this also gives us the best answer to the question that some people have raised regarding the whereabouts of the nation of Islam amidst the social tension and unrest taking place throughout the United States. Well, for those who have asked that question, whether you were black, brown, or Caucasian, the answer to you is look in the mirror. That is where you will find the nation of Islam. Those of us who are registered members of the lost found nation of Islam and consider ourselves to be believers in Almighty God, and in his Messiah are no more or no less under the sovereign power of Almighty God than any other human being on the earth. This specific group, the registered membership, are those who strive to follow the specific advice and instructions 
of Allah's Messiah, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan.